हाय गाइस इस वीडियो में विल टॉक अबाउट बेसिक्स ऑफ फोर्सेस एंड मोमेंटम सो व्हाट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन देम सो लेट स्टार्ट मोमेंटम इज बेसिकली अमाउंट ऑफ मोशन व्हिच इज गिवन बाय p इक्वल टू mv p इज द सिंबल फॉर मोमेंटम m इज मास v इज द वेलोसिटी ऑफ द पार्टिकल एंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन फोर्स एंड मोमेंटम इज गिवन बाय न्यूटन सेकंड लॉ व्हिच स्टेट्स दैट एक्सटर्नल फोर्सेस रेट ऑफ चेंज ऑफ मोमेंटम rate of change of linear momentum specifically so it can be written like this and then we will say that if there is no change in mass dm by dt will be zero and this dv by dt will be treated as a so f external is equal to mass into acceleration and similarly we can say the average force is change in momentum over time so direction of f average is nothing but direction of change in momentum and change in momentum is also called impulse so these are just definitions of basically impulse momentum average force or force okay from this i can say that f is the slope of pt graph as f is dp by dt so external force is nothing but the slope of momentum time graph and area of ft graph area of ft graph is nothing but change in linear momentum okay so from the area of ft graph we get change in linear momentum and from slope of pt graph we get force okay let's start at x uh, assuming it to be an xt graph 5 kg is shown the mass of the particle which is performing this graph is 5 kg we have to find impulse at t equal to 2 comma 5 okay so for impulse we need momentum for momentum we need velocity okay so velocity v just before just before t equal to 2 so what is the velocity just before it is the slope 20 by 2 the slope of xt graph gives you velocity so it was 10 and velocity just after v just after t equal to 2 is nothing but zero so change in momentum is m v final minus v initial so we can say final velocity is zero mass is 2 so 0 minus 10 that is minus 50 kg meter per second similarly speed at just before before t equal to 5 was zero and velocity at t equal to 5 means just after that just after is how much slope is 20 degrees in 4 seconds so slope is uh, minus 5 and change in momentum is again m v final minus 5 minus v initial which is 0 so change in momentum is minus 25 kg meter per second assuming that a graph this graph is pt uh, now draw ft okay this is pt slope of it will give you f so from let's say i'll just draw graph below it Mm-hmm. Okay, I should draw it here. This is F T. So slope from t equal to zero to t equal to two. The slope is ten plus ten. So this is plus ten. And from t equal to two to five, the slope is zero. So the graph should be here. I should draw it by a different um, color pen. The graph will appear like this. And from t 5 to t9 the slope is minus 5 so it should draw here it is nothing but minus 5 plus 10 from 0 to 2 0 from t equal to 2 to 5 and then after that minus 5 okay so assuming graph to be ft this graph if we assume it to be ft we have to find change in momentum from 0 to 2 from 0 to 9 okay 
चेंज इन मोमेंटम इज नथिंग बट एरिया ऑफ डक्टीग्राफ सो एरिया फ्रॉम जीरो टू टू इज हाउ मच हाफ इंटू बेस इंटू हाइट दैट इज ट्वेंटी एंड एरिया फ्रॉम जीरो टू नाइन वी हैव टू फाइंड द एरिया ऑफ दिस ट्रेपीजियम दिस शेडेड एरिया हाफ इंटू बेस सम ऑफ पैरल साइड विच इज नाइन प्लस थ्री इंटू सेपरेशन बिटवीन दैम विच इज ट्वेंटी सो वी गेट सिक्स इंटू ट्वेंटी दैट इज वन ट्वेंटी In the next example, uh, a small ball strikes the ground with speed u at an angle theta with vertical and rebound with the same speed and same angle. We have to find the change in momentum. We can take the component of u here. This will be angle theta, so this is u cos theta, and this will be u sin theta. Similarly, as the final velocity is this, we will have. u cos theta and u sin theta so there is no change in u sin theta but u cos theta has reversed so again change in momentum is mass into change in velocity so what is change in velocity is m final velocity is upward u cos theta minus minus u cos theta so that is 2 mu cos theta okay that is the change in velocity or change in momentum 2 mu cos theta average force if contact duration is this f average is nothing but change in momentum by time taken so change in momentum is 2 mu cos theta and the time taken is delta t and that will also be towards j cap as the change in momentum is also towards j cap there is no change in momentum along x axis as the velocity remains same but in y direction velocity has reversed its direction so the change is two times the velocity particle of mass m moving at speed v takes a turn by an angle theta in time t with constant speed find the f average so let's say this was particle going and it takes a turn by an angle theta so it start moving like this okay then we have to find the change angle between initial velocity and the final velocity the v initial is this and v final is also have same magnitude but different in directions so we can say change in velocity is v final minus v initial these are two vectors making an angle theta between them having equal magnitude so their difference will be 2v sin of theta by 2 and if we have to find f average so we can say m delta v by time taken t in the next one we have to find f as a function of time from momentum f is nothing but dp by dt so just to differentiate it to get dp by dt is 2t minus 2 i cap and that will be plus 3 j cap okay this is force as a function of time okay enjoy